how does iron ore beneficiation impact local ecosystem and biodiversity sir and what measures can be taken to minimize these environmental effects so yeah so let me begin with the uh, famous story of s of fables and this story is about a frog and centipede the so centipede was once upon a time walking in the morning and the frog came in front of him and asked him that uh, how come you are walking on hundred it was very intrigued that uh, you have hundred legs which leg you move first which leg you move second and centipede told that i have never thought that how i am walking but this is the way i am doing this is the way my brother sisters my sisters have been doing and the frog told that no i have to take lot of pain i have to put pressure on two hind legs and then i have to move forward but you managing with hind legs is very difficult and difficult and then centipede tried to count how he is moving so he started making one step then the second step and the story says that his legs get tangled he couldn't go so there are many take aways from this story but two of the take aways which i would like to place here are uh, for i don't know or for mind tellings so mind telling is not new when I mean, the first telling them were built in japan and france in 1800 and the united states invested in mining this stories when telling them was built in arizona in 1881 And during 1970s and 1980s, 78 which were built in Brazil, Peru, Bolivia, and other South American countries. Now, before 1970s, only 10 were built on the planet, but over 320 dams have been opened in the last 10 years. And based on the available data, 89 companies with over 60 countries, there are more than 1,700 dams holding mining rest all over the world. Out of which 687 are classified as highest and in terms of country australia has the highest number of tilling dams uh 291 in canada and uh, india is having only 19 dams which is the report of 2020 why does got uh, prominence because of uh, failure in mount pali in uh, 2014 summer in 2015 to madino in 2019 and that is found in south africa in 2022 so this is the uh, international story in india also and then bureau of mines has has come out with telling them to then much before in 1995 december and in the ibm manual for a pillar of mining plan it was in 2014 also telling them element was discussed and final mine closure plan always discuss about this ministry of mines ministry of law and justice has issued dam safety act in 2021 so uh mining and telling stories is not new and someone like pentipid has disturbed the basics uh, uh, of how the mining has to be done the foremost thing what i see is the reduction in the lease area if you don't have sufficient area for mining and storage of tailings then there are issues related with environment there are issues related with safety there are issues related with water pollution so the first thing which i would like to say is, is the basics which centipi was following should be there and mining lease should not be curtailed or the optimal size of mining lease should be there so that the lessee should have enough space for mining enough space for putting the beneficiation plant enough space for holding the tailings what has been done in the recent past that the lease size is very small sometimes the lessee has to look the area outside Uh, the lease area for beneficiation plant and outside the lease area for tailings dams management and we all are aware that in india uh, the forest land uh, mining land mineral area rich in mineral area rich in water area low in sdi they overlap and these are the area which are also mostly in the tribal area getting land is difficult so first of all if i if, if you ask me uh, the issues which you have uh, been prominently we are facing or any mining company is facing is the space in the mine where they can have uh, sufficient space for uh, putting up the right beneficiation plant right uh, tailing storage and then the water recycling facilities 
Apart from that, uh, yeah, you ask about the biodiversity, it's again the fragmentation of the area. So if the area is intact and the fragmentation of the area is avoided right from the mine to the plant, it helps the biodiversity. And the first move, foremost thing which any company should do first, this is assess the baseline of the biodiversity in that area. And then uh, they can they can think of the remediation measure of how they can they can uh, improve the biodiversity depending upon the baseline study that they can take many projects right from eradication of invasive species to plantation of new species to make habitat which are amenable and conducive for the natural fauna and flora. What are the primary environmental concerns associated with arena beneficiation? Uh, processes such as water and air pollution and also what kind of technology advancements are being made to address these challenges, sir? So in one of the mines in Northern Cape in South Africa, uh, which is having a water scarce area, they went for fresh disposal first time. And after uh, some time in the rainy season, when it got drier, there were issues related with the air pollution. So it, it, it's like you, how you have to handle uh, all those points uh, that always remains uh, one area where we can always work on. So the tailings, disposal site, the design, where are you going to uh, uh, make the tailing dam, the upstream and the downstream uh, pathways, and then uh, how the habitats are closer or uh, far away from that area, and what are the safeguard mechanisms you are putting up uh, in that. So the hazards which have been discussed earlier is again, uh, which we have seen in the different failures of slime dam in the recent past is mostly disruption of ecosystem. Uh, if the habitat is closer, then it's again uh, uh, a risk of lives. Contamination, if you're going for uh, chemical contamination, if you're going for flotation and everything, and then uh, impact on biodiversity, invasive species, which they can come with the different machineries, and indirect impact on uh, roads, railways, and ports. So there are many different cumulative impacts also related to ecosystem and high level of mining activity and if the companies are not going for uh, conservation measures. Air quality and water management has already spoken about. Then we need to think of how we can go for cleaner technology. So there are many uh, aspects related to uh, uh, environmental issues related to RNO tailings and uh, any, any uh, beneficial technology and related telling disposal and how we are uh, making it. So, Kudramuk also has a very good telling dam, which was very popular at that point of time, Lakya Dam. Probably it was made by JP and then it was one of its kind. But then there are issues related with water pollution uh, uh, in that area also. So, it's again uh, not only making it uh, from the design aspect, but also how you are monitoring and uh, what are the assurance system you have uh, in the mind for taking care of the environmental issues. So, uh, recently, uh, there has been a lot of uh, help from AI and IoT on that as aspect also to uh, get some alert if there are certain movement in the in, in the prism or, or, or any IoT devices, any leakage from that area. But yes, uh, the recent incidents uh, from 2014 onwards has given a lot of learnings and uh, many uh, standards have also come out how to uh, take care of that. GI string is one such which was promoted by ICM. So uh, it's, it's my point here is that we need not be uh, resting on what once we have made the tailing dam and be assured that it will take care of its own. There has to be proper monitoring of those tailing dams and, uh, uh, and, and third party assurance also should be brought into it.